Currently, there are more than 140,000 stateless and undocumented individuals residing in Namibia. The Deputy Minister, Dr. Daniel Kashikola, says the primary objective of the proposed legislation is to reduce this number to zero. This, he says, is in line with the UN's Convention on the Eradication of Statelessness. We will make provision for the determination to find out whether these people are really stateless or some of them are supposed to be Namibians who simply don't have documents and when that is found out, they will then be given Namibian documents. Kashikola states that the majority of these individuals are Angolans who migrated to Namibia several decades ago. We go to those people, try to find out their status. If that person is found to be, let's say, an Angolan, so we conduct that authority, the authority, the authority, the Angolan authority, and find out why that person cannot have Angolan citizenship and or any other country's citizenship. But when that happens, when we realize that that person is unable to get a citizenship of another country, and then that person will be given the Namibian citizenship. Because the intention is not to have any person in Namibia who is stateless. The bill, once it becomes law, will include provisions for four types of identity documents. These documents will be designated for Namibian citizens, refugees, individuals residing in Namibia with permits exceeding 12 months and a separate category for those whose status is currently unknown or undetermined. The ministry, Kashikola says, will also regulate the status of residents in Namibia and those possessing the older Southwest Africa IDs. The Deputy Minister made the remarks at the Africa Civil Registration and Vital Statistics Day at Bravo Settlement in the Kavango West region. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Bravo.